what, what the haters talking about. What's up, family? While Ivanka Trump took part in a controversial trip to Israel and Melania Trump recovered from kidney surgery, Donald Trump, your president, spent most of Monday trying to act like he was making things right with one man who's highly regarded as an American hero. Three weeks and one day after the fatal shooting that claimed the lives of four patrons at a Nashville area Waffle House and left several others wounded, Donald Trump made contact with James Shaw Jr., the diner who risked his life to fight back against suspected shooter Travis Rankin. Why am I saying suspected? This mother is guilty. The guy is credited with grabbing an AR-15 off a of Rain King, who now faces murder charges. In addition to disarming the shooter, who was no doubt a Donald Trump supporter, and preventing further loss of life, James Shaw Jr. vowed to raise funds for those who were killed at the Waffle House and injured. The dude is a true hero. Love it, man. Now, I'm thinking one of the reasons, well, let's get the first reason off. The first reason, as all of you know, is racially motivated. We know that for a fact. We know it for a fact because every time somebody that's white does something remotely heroic, he jump his ass on Twitter and ah, real fast. He has not missed an opportunity to do it yet. What dude did, risking his life, wrestling that AR-15 away from the shooter, that was one of the all-time top heroic moments in American history. How many can y'all name where somebody wrestled a gun away from a shooter, a mass murderer, who could have been capable of continuing to kill? Who knows how many more people would have been killed? He probably would have aired out the whole Waffle House and other suspecting, unsuspecting customers. Then he could have went to another place and killed some more people. Who knows how many people he would have killed? This is one of the few times where a person has stopped the shooter, confronted the shooter, and the shooter didn't get a chance to take himself out. So that was a hell of a thing that he did. I mean, I can't say that I would have done anything different. When you know that your life is on the line, you really don't have a choice. So. I don't think dude did what he did to be a hero. He was just in survival mode. And I also don't think he was really looking forward to some type of uh, acknowledgement from Trump. I don't think he did it for any type of acknowledgement, but, you know, would have been nice. I mean, after all, that's what presidents do. Some people say, well, the president ain't got time to be thanking everybody that does something heroic. <laughs> that was big. Y'all know it was. But the president had time to come up with these little petty beefs. He got time to tweet about the NFL and the NBA and some woman's wig. His ass got time. All he do is sit around eating Cheetos and double meat hamburgers from McDonald's and fries and drinking Diet Coke, playing with himself, cause you know Melania ain't giving him none. I think she finally shut it down. She looked like she shut it down too. She looked like she ain't even, man, 
And you know, he he wasn't even at the hospital when she had her surgical procedure. She had kidney surgery. His ass didn't even go to the hospital. Man, y'all know. Ain't no peace in that home. Again, I don't think James did what he did to get some type of praises from Donald Trump. However, it's proper protocol and presidential etiquette to thank heroes for their service. I know you got to kind of take a few points off because Donald Trump is not presidential material, but I mean, technically he is the president. You know, after all, I mean, he, he found time to thank Kanye. Come on, man. I mean, how much can he have on his plate? Besides five double meat cheeseburgers, three large order fries, a mac rib, a couple of those dollar tacos from Jack in the Box, some nine laters. No more talk. What the haters talking about?